Hey Cancer, welcome to Wild Pearl Tarot. Today we're going to be doing your tarot and oracle reading for November 2024. And we're gonna be asking what is coming towards you? What do you need to know? What's gonna serve your highest good? So we'll start out with oracle. These have all been pre-shuffled uh, with you in mind so that we save time. And for all of you guys who are regulars, thank you so much for all your love, your comments, your shares, your likes, your subscribes. I very much value our relationship and I, I read every single comment and you lift me up. Thank you so much. And I hope I can lift you up too. So I'm always uh, praying for you. If you want me to pray for you, say hi in the comments section. It gives me something I can focus on that represents you. You can share, you can even just pop an emoji on there. And I encourage all of y'all to do the same. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. It's a, a really cool tribe and it, it's a very active community. So if you like to lift people up, especially in the comment section and uh, send them love and, and prayers as well. If you like people to do that for you, this is the right place for you. So we start with a message. It is safe for you to receive. Speaking of which, the more you allow yourself to receive, the more resources you have available to share with others. Open your arms to receive and be a conduit for good coming to you and through you as it blesses the world. Whew. My fingers started tingling. So that's the Angels of Abundance deck now from the Divine Feather Messenger deck for my cancers. You have the message of the pheasant. The time is ripe for you excuse me, the time is ripe for creation and connection. Focus your attention in these areas. Conduit, conduit energy all over the place. And then finally, this is meant for you at the day you see this. Whenever this is, uh, this is applying to you the day you see this. It's just a little message, something to keep in your pocket. Here we go. I let go, I release. I am within perfect possibility. All right, you guys, let's just, this is gonna be interesting. Let's see what Tarot has for you in November, 2024 from my cancers. Please make a clear for it. And only taking the cards that fly out for you. We don't force anything. It's all gotta flow. For my cancers, November, 2024. What do they need to know? For my cancers, November, 2024. What do they need to know? Please make it clear. Flipping but not flying, we've got the justice card. We'll just keep that as a footnote. And you guys, I'll mention, you know, don't give all your power away to tarot. It's just there for a guy as a guide. And so as you watch this reading, observe if it if it resonates or not. You know, it doesn't not every reading is gonna fit every single cancer out there, right? But it's worth observing. How does it feel? Wow, you got some big heavy hitters. You got the devil, you got the star, two of cups. I'm going to give you a general overview of where we're going with the reading, and then I'll unpack it from there, okay, you guys? Ten of Cups, Ten of Wands. This looks great. So we start with hope. There's this bridge built to hope. Um, with the Star card, this is optimism. It's also a little bit of a, I call it a little bit of a celebrity card of the deck. It's a, definitely a time in November that you're going to be getting noticed by someone or many people. We'll understand a little bit more once I get more cards out on it, but it's a sense that you're getting restored, uh, hope and optimism is replenished. We have the Page of Pentacles, which is a new project or a venture, a skill of some sort could be uh, <clears throat> worked on, making a dream real. Two of Cups is partnership, and this is not just any partnership. This is a partnership that would be quite magical, specifically around re reciprocity, equal give and take. It's very balanced. There's a lot of harmony in this relationship, whether it's a business relationship or it's uh, romantic. It's very positive. It's like soulmate type of stuff. The devil energy talks about a behavioral pattern or an environment that could be toxic. Um, there could even be a cycle. Uh, this is, it's really important to know that this is an illusion, that you're not truly chained to this. But so it doesn't have to be as, it doesn't have to be like crazy dramatic, but Tarot is pointing it out for a reason. It'll be interesting to understand why that there's this card coming out. Then we have the Ten of Cups. Very, very happy, harmonious place. Oh, that kind of energy. Got the rainbow, everybody's smiling and waving to the rainbow and all the cups in the sky. Don't know why they're doing that, but it's a positive energy nonetheless. We got the Ten of Wands, putting down this burden. So there's something, uh, an old worn out chapter in your life you can finally say goodbye to. 
Um, so for the star, unpacking the star. Page Pentacles, bear with me. Two Cups. Nice. Um, I'll take a little break after I get some information on the devil. And then let's talk about this. Uh, interesting. So... You know, with that theme of conduit, I think in November there's going to be things working their way right through you. Perception, like you're just going to be kind of like observing your thoughts, like old trains rattling on through. You don't have to attach yourself to anything. And keeping on that theme of conduit, I do feel like there's a lot of positivity that is finding you. It's it's when you just are a conduit for everything, you can easily let go of the things that you don't want. You can catch the things that you want. There's this star card that's talking about hope, hope and optimism, a sense of restoration. And it's after a time where this other very opposing energy has been kind of stifling you. So this could have been um, overanalyzing certain th thoughts around excessive working, working hard at something and... Um, Maybe there is poor asset handling, like maybe uh, there is a poor choices made around money. Maybe there is a workaholic uh, energy to this. Either way, it's out of alignment, like ooh, something to do with um, money and value. Uh, there is a closed mindedness. And what's beautiful is that there's this break all of a sudden, a break to recharge, to get clarity to step away from it, observe it, get some perspective. And that's when the hope and optimism comes flooding in because then balance can take place. So new, so in the month of November, Cancer, new options are gonna be opening up to you quite a bit. That could even include travel or connecting with people from distances or people that are different from you, opportunities that you wouldn't have considered maybe uh, just a month ago or last year. And um, there's some fantastic self-observation going on in November in order to make these changes. I think in the face of a new venture, like an opportunity to kind of level up. Uh, your first inclination was to go to kind of withdraw, to, f to feel your, uh, your lack of confidence in the situation because it's new, right? It's a challenge. You're getting an opportunity to kind of, you're getting a message most likely about your finances. Uh, like change needs to happen here. And so it's like, ooh, you know, maybe overwhelm, but it's because of all these options. It's because have you ever, we've all had the experience where maybe a friend of ours or somebody we trust brings up an opportunity, an idea. And on one end, we can, we acknowledge that it's a fantastic idea and it's very doable and almost the brilliance coming off of the fantasticness. It's like the shine coming off of it, the glare is too sharp for your eyes. It's almost like, oh, I just need some sunglasses. This is too much. It's kind of like that. So this is an opportunity for change. And I want to say there's grace there. And there is the star card energy is grace. Is like, you don't have to act on it right away. You can be the conduit. You can just let these things flow right through you and you you can catch and store away what you like. You don't have to act on it yet though. Now, I feel that November is going to be a very powerful month for you in self-observation also in catching those opportunities that you want and you can put them away for later. 
Um, we do have this partnership coming up. And again, we've got that, I don't know, feeling that juggling, this is, um, this could be juggling some change, prioritizing, reprioritizing. You might have to shift some things around, but this is around, again, the Ace of Pentacles. This is most likely around money for a lot of you guys. Now, for a few of you guys, it could be self-worth, self-value, feeling, um, allowing yourself to feel appreciated, allowing yourself to receive. And that's going to be probably the smaller majority of the people I'm reading for. And that would suggest that it's difficult to receive, most likely uh, based on any BS in the past that you made up about yourself, <laughs> you know? But you're getting this, again, an opportunity. My nose is itching when that happens. There's this mutual bond, this compatibility around a partnership. Oh, always is a sign I got to pay attention to what I'm talking about, like spend some time on it. Let's put some, spend some more time on this. This is going to be an extended. I'm going to tell you right away because it's, it's a big message. But I want to pack a lot in for those who don't want to follow me over to the extended. It will be a link in the description box. And Justice card, it has arrived again. So I'm going to pay attention. I'm taking the Justice card. <sighs> cancers are fascinating because if I'm going to make a broad statement, Cancers have such a great capacity for compassion and feeling, intuition and their emotions. And yet they are the sign of the crab. They have that hard shell. And it's for a reason, to protect everything soft inside. In the center of our reading with the Two of Cups, there's a partnership that's revealing a real opportunity that you didn't necessarily have to earn. Guess what? Sometimes you don't have to freaking earn everything. Sometimes some things of value just fall on your lap. And it's going to make you juggle and what you're juggling, I think, is do I choose to expose my exoskeleton? You know, do I choose? Because this hard shell comes up with the Queen of Swords. Boundaries, limits, where are we at? Black and white, what's the information? Like store away the emotions, the sensitive sauce side. I'm up to bat with my, my uh, shield and my sword. And it's really about fairness, like wanting, in the end, wanting what's good for you because you don't want to be out on your ass. You don't want to be getting the short end of the stick. You don't want to be getting poor. You know, like you don't want to be taken advantage of injustice. So sure, like let your queen of swords do its job. Let your, your shell do its job. Like it's there to protect you. Acknowledge that it's there. It's still the conduit energy of like, let's just acknowledge all these things that are happening. Let them go through. And I will say that there is a very good um, balance of of what's fair and what's right and truth when you get the justice card. So that looks good. This is truth and honesty coming through. Um, yeah, and we're gonna get more advice on that in the extended. I'm gonna get another deck. We have used so many of these. 10 of Cups, loved and supported, happy family, happy endings. This is like the end of the Disney movie. We got Ten of Cups, clarified by the Ten of Cups. I love it. Ace of Pentacles, the devil and the hermit. The cycle is revealed. Oh, that's, that, that toxicity, I think, is believing something. Is it too good to be true? You've got something that's going to really, okay, so for those cancers out there that have families, um, like this would really greatly help your family, you know it, but you feel like you're the one that's keeping them safe. You're the front line, right? So um, this is asking you to, sometimes there's the reaction of defense before you can really truly take observation of your thoughts, feelings, your intuition on something, just because you go into, it's too good to be true mode, right? So this is hidden. This is feeling like um, it's, it's resonating. It's worth grabbing a journal or grabbing your phone and writing down some thoughts that pop up. But anyway, this is saying the hermit create upside down. That's the lack of going within, the lack of um, addressing your, all your sources, your guides, your intuition, whatever you call it, before you react. And it's a cycle. 
Um, and I think there's a lot more packed into it that I haven't even touched on. And you don't have to have a family at all. I mentioned if you have a family, this would be like you at the front of the lines. This is really for those who are who don't have family like myself, who are like looking out for their friends and looking out for, um, you know, themselves and their neighbors. Like this is really feeling that support, feeling uh, a sense of balance and healthy around the emotional space and joy. Um, it's affecting it. So let's say, for instance, you have a house that you get an offer on and you are afraid that you immediately go into a defense. The offer is so good that you think, well, what about my neighbors? You know, I'm really coming, I'm really responsible for their happiness too. You know, we share a backyard. They, they can see into my kitchen. It's important that, you know, I'm, I'm just going to say no to this offer. It just seems too good to be true. And it's a little, I can't trust it. And what if the neighbors get mad? You know what I mean? So it's important to really dig down and dive into, and remember, these, you're a conduit this month. So you can just let go of these things, just observe them. But it's important to dive down and be discerning, like ask yourself, what is this? Is this a trigger reaction as part of a, an old pattern? Or could it be that this actually feels right? You know, underneath the shell, if I can get past the shell, you know, the shell's important. Lastly, 10 of wands, you're putting down an old chapter and it has to do with transformation ruled by temperance, ruled by Sagittarius energy. There's an exhausting chapter that you're being, you're being allowed, you're allowing yourself to put down this month. So you can be really happy. You're getting major arcana all over this. I love it for you guys. So I will bid you adieu. I hope that packed enough of a punch for you. November looks really good for you. I'm going to go on to the extended and we're going to go into the advice portion. If you'd like to follow me there, take good care of yourselves. Love you all.